Well, kids, it's that time again. Doesn't that look real pretty? Yeah, he polished her up. She looks real good. You want to see it outside? Here's a good outside stance. This truck was built years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years ago. Big old Kragers. Not too bad. Real nice truck. Here, I'll walk you around it. How about that? He polished her all up and he went for a ride the other day. Which makes me really happy because, you know, hot rods are meant to be driven. No, I'm not showing you the Chevy Love with the straight axle. No, not showing you that right now. Ooh, that's pretty. We're talking about this rod light wheels, possibly. Not sure. Those are, yeah, we're not doing those. Probably this because it's more street roddy. What do we got going on here? Well, the firewall is all smoothed off. And the AC unit's in get this dipstick out so you can see so this is gonna mount right cheer well actually just no stay right there because I got the nut certs in there those time certs they're going right there and then chrome master cylinder all that fun stuff lines and all, and all but what I'm doing right now is I'm planning the wire routing for the electrical that's right electrical that's what I'm doing on this thing right now since I don't have all my brake line fittings and all the stuff that I need, I'm missing 3 16 line, which I don't have. American Auto Wire kit, so we're going to town. So what I've done so far is I've gone from the alternator to the starter. Don't pay attention to up here yet. It's not clean or right here yet. But that's ideal, ideally what I'm going for is a nice racetrack action. So what's going to happen is the upholsterer is going to run the Dynamat or the Quiet Mat up to that stuff make some layers, go over it with one layer, and then when the padding goes on, it'll all be, um, this will be sandwich blow. And since this is the type of wire that doesn't melt, there's no worries. Over there on the wall is my wiring diagram map. Oh, by the way, I put this seat on hinges. I don't know if you can see them, so I can pick it up like this. And it stays, and then the amp and the fuse box are going to be in here, so it's easy for him to see. Before, all that held this seat on was this little nub in a hole right there. That's all that held this on. I'm going to do uh, recessed screws and stuff like that for this, too. And I'm going to do like a trunk latch right there on the back of the seat, right there in the, where those two holes are right there. It'll build like a trunk latch, so when this thing latches down, it'll have a pull cable that'll come out the front or the side little handle or something like here, something hidden or a little button or something that will release it so then this can pick up because seats, kids, have to be safe. You can't be sitting in your car and hit the brakes and have the seat slide against the dash. No. No. Never. Don't ever do that. Don't ride around on a bucket or, I mean, you ride around the neighborhood on a bucket, do a couple burnouts, fall off the bucket, get that experience, you know, but don't do that on purpose. Never. What am I drinking? Tea. American Auto Wire. That's my brake cable kit. Or my brake kit. Grinders. And uh, nothing else. But that's pretty much what's going on. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's the update on this Ford for today. Uh, I, also, I did set the tow, so you might see that the toes... Well, it'll be... It, it's closer, so I was trying to get turning radius. I need skinnier wheels because... Running this thing all the way over here, I get a little bit of interference right here, just barely here and on the bottom mount with these 8-inch wide wheels. So I think we're going to run 7s or 6s in the front, and these are 16 by 9s in the back, 16 9s. But they have 4.5 backspace, and they fit good. I could go another inch on the inside and still have an inch clearance, but I don't want to go any wider outside the fender. I just... On this truck, when it tucks up in there and looks nice, I just don't want interference. And these need to be skinnier and all that kind of stuff. But gosh, is this fun. Build hot rods, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's so much fun. No, it's a good time. Anyway, enjoy the show. Aloha, whatever. Bye.